the Powers Gold Cup is next up, and this is a Grade 1, and it's a two and a half mile Grade 1 chase. It's a very small field for it. It's a class field. The top one is William the Conqueror for Leon Van Rensburg, Market Tavern, Graham Clutterbuck, Northern Life, Kevin Meanahan, Ozark Slipper, Vinnie Gerard, the Long Paws for Joshua Sutherland, and Young Ones for Craig Allen. So just six in a two and a half mile Grade 1. And away they go. And Ozark Slipper was the first to show. We'll be hoping to do better than Vinnie Gerrard's did at the first in the last race. And we'll be hoping to get over it safely. And does so, as do the rest of them, with the exception of William the Conqueror. So there's a major surprise at the first then. William won't be conquering anybody today. And I would suggest that that was the favourite that's gone. And a lot of people would have tipped that one, I would have thought. And it's gone up the first and very nearly did we lose Ozark Slipper as well there. But the long pause is in the lead and the jumping has been somewhat sketchy. One of these supposed class animals. And it's the long pause who leads by three to Market Tavern in second. Northern Life is third. Ozark Slipper is fourth. And Young Ones is fifth. And I'm sure that Joshua Sutherland's eyes probably lit up when he saw Leon Van Rensburg horse fall, but didn't light up quite so much when he saw his horse just whack fence number four. So, a really strange start to the race, and it was fence number three that he whacked, not four. This is four, and they're all over it, and it's Market Tavern in the lead from the long pause in second. Northern Life is third, Ozark Slipper fourth, and Young Ones is five. Uh, suggestions that Joshua Sutherland would be quite happy to see Leon fall. They've got nothing to do with him not liking him. Just that he probably sees him as his main rival, I think. And with him out of the way, he probably thinks it's a lot easier to win the race. But it's Market Tavern in the lead. All the long pause. I'd be careful sometimes with this commentating like you can start up rivalries that didn't really exist and people think people don't like each other. But there you go. It's like me and Stu, we're best mates really. As they get over that next one, you wouldn't have believed it the way he moaned at me last week. Anyway, Marky Tuffer's in the lead from the long paws in second. And Ozark Slipper and Northern Life. And then Young Ones after that one. As they make their way towards the next. And that big ditch, the long paws landed in front from Market Tavern second. And Ozark Slipper third. Northern Life is fourth. And Young Ones is just a bit detached in fifth. I think Craig and I might be a bit disappointed with that one this season. It's form. Not looking that spectacular, but this is a perfect chance to put that right. Although it doesn't look like he's going to do it at the moment. And the long pause has got a good five or six length lead from Ozark Slipper in second. Magic Market Tavern is in third. And then Northern Life fourth. And Young Ones is currently out of shot. Oh, Market. Uh, young Northern Life. Sorry, I'll get it right in the end. Northern Life nearly went at that one, but they're well strung out here. As they get to the next, and the leader went right through the top of that. And you know what? I don't think the falling's finished in this race, the way they're jumping. And the long pause is in the lead from Ozark Slipper in second. Gap of four lengths then back to Market Tavern Northern Life. Now Young Ones is starting to get a little bit closer as they get over that ditch. And into the final mile they go. Ozark Slipper comes alongside the long pause. And Northern Life is next then, Young Ones. And Market Tavern is just about the back marker, but now there's no more than six to eight lengths between the whole lot of them as Ozark Slipper takes it up over the 11th. Ozark Slipper then from the Long Paws, then Northern Life and Young Ones and Market Tavern at the back. As they come down to the business end of the race, and Ozark Slipper in the lead from the Long Paws in second. Then Northern Life, then Market Tavern, Young Ones just dropped to the back again. Beginning to bunch as they get to the 12th, and the leader Ozark Slipper down on his nose, and that's allowed Long Nose to get Long Paws to get back into the lead. But Ozark Slipper fights back up the inside. It's Ozark Slipper and the Long Paws from Northern Life Market. Savon Young Ones is now coming around the outside. That's the third lesson. Young Ones jumped that best and has jumped himself right up into contention and has now taken it up. It's Young Ones who's gone on. Ozark Slipper responds. The Long Paws looks a bit one pace back in third, then comes Market Savon, then Northern Life. They're racing down towards the final two fences is in there and it's Ozark Slipper on the near side, Young Ones on the far side they're clear of the long pause, they're coming down towards the second last fence, over it they go they land together, a better jump though by the third place, also long pause is beginning to get back into it, it's just Young Ones Ozark Slipper, it's on the knot as they come down to the final fence, it's all going to come down to the jump over it, they go, Ozark Slipper jumped in best long pause around the outside, Young Ones is trying to fight back into the final half and on they go, it's Ozark Slipper from the Young Ones then comes long pause up towards the line it's going to be Ozark Slipper's got a hold on a 
think Ozark Slipper, and here comes Young Ones and one last lunge, oh goodness me. And once again, the race turns me into Frankie Howard, and it looked like Ozark Slipper had got it, but Young Ones lunging, and oh, he might well have given it to Young Ones. It's a dead heat, well I'm not surprised, and what a good race that turned out to be. I thought it was going to be a disappointing race with only six in it, especially when the red hot favourite went at the first, but maybe that's just what made it into the race. It was so young ones for Craig Allen and Ozark Slipper for Vinnie Gerard sharing the spoils then. The long pause for Joshua Sutherland was third, Northern Life for Kevin Meenahan fourth, and Market Tavern for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.